And sound is, um, is interesting. You know, I teach sound, uh, sound art, at the um, George Mason University School of Art. Okay. And I emphasize that there's really a difference in how sound permits access of the world versus vision. You know, we're, we're primarily optical animals by design, by evolution. That's, that's primary, how we process visual information. But the thing about sound, which is a close second, is that vision necessarily is always the reflection of photons off the surface of reality. Whereas what makes sound work is the vibration of the material and the substance of reality, that is, its interior aspects. Hmm. Sound, phenomenologically, lodges itself in the same internal spaces where thought and reflection and feeling and our truest ideas about ourselves are lodged. So sound always, to me, has opportunities that, that are harder to access. I'm not saying you can't access them with visual media, but are harder to access. Now to that point, and let me, let me, um, I've got two words that I'm gonna use that we can play off of. The first is music. And the, 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 the definition, the Webster definition of music is vocal or instrumental sounds combined in such a way as to produce beauty of form, harmony, and expression of emotion. Now that's the Webster definition of music. Now the, Web the Webster definition of noise is a sound, especially one that is loud or unpleasant or that causes disturbance. What I find interesting in the definition of those two is the word sound. Mm -hmm. And you referenced sound and its ability and so to, 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 to hit these places that, you know, visually people just can't, that visuals just don't reach. So when we're looking at, at, at music and noise, what would you say your definition of those two things are? <laughs> I don't think I have a definition of noise, which is a definition in and of itself. And my definition of music is, is very minimal. The sound is worth listening to, and its worth is um, beyond the merely informational value that a sound can have. What do I mean by that? If somebody tells you um, that building is burning, get out of it, that's very valuable sound. But if they had held up a piece of paper with the words written on it, it you still would have hustled your way out of the burning building. Mm. So it's, it's, its value is dependent in its information. Whereas to me, music is a sound that is valuable in the way that a, not to be trite, but the way that a beautiful sunset might be valuable, simply as it is, simply as such. And that includes Ellington, you know? It includes all sorts of, um, you know, really harsh experimentation. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody like Dream Crusher, maybe, you know. Okay. Um, Merzbau. Um, and I could go, you know, I could go on and on. 